Question 12. Here are the first four terms of a number sequence. Part A, 1. Write down the next term in the sequence. Let's see if we can see what the pattern is. 3 up to 4 is 7. 7 add 4 is 11. 11 add 4 is 15. So what we're doing is going up in 4s each time. So if I added 4 on this, it would be 19. And part two says explain my answer. Now you could quite literally just put plus four. And when it says to explain, it's always a good idea just to write a little sentence or a few words to describe what you're doing. So if we, what we noticed was the sequence goes up in And that explanation clearly defines how we managed to get to 19 as the next number and would give us our second mark. Now B says work out the difference between the 10th term and the 15th term in the sequence. Well there are a few higher level ways to do this, all we're trying to do is prove it so we could just continue the sequence. I would always write it out from the beginning just to make sure that we're not going to miss any. So we have 3, 7, 11, 15, and 19. Going up in fours to continue this, we have 23, 27, 31, 35, 39, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that's the tenth number. After 39, we can go to 43, 47, 51, 55, and 59. That's our fifteenth number. So the difference between these two, 59, Take away 39, 9 take away 9 is 0, 5 take away 3 is 2, so the difference is 20. We could have also said that between the 10th and 15th number is going to be 5 jumps, 5 lots of 4 is 20. Either way, we're still going to get our mark from proving it, but with that second option, we would have had to have written down that explanation in some way.